This video is to give you a quick overview of how to create and manage hours of operation information. The TMS system can store hours of operation for two entity types, businesses and people. Hours of operation is a common system function that is available for the following system entities. Your customers, which include shipping and delivering locations. Your customer contacts. Your company's shared network profile, which includes all your operating units, alternate locations and agencies. Your employees the users of the system, your partner carriers, your partner carrier contacts, your drivers, your driver contacts like emergency contacts or other passengers, your fleet owners, your fleet owner contacts like their accountants, etc., your customs brokers, your customs broker contacts. Although this common function is available in so many areas of the system, it is completely optional for you to create and maintain the hours of operation for any of these entities. If you do create accurate hours of operation data, the TMS system will be able to use it to help make better decisions. Let's begin by showing you the standard hours of operation screen. The hours of operation screen is exactly the same in all areas of the system. So for this demonstration, we will create and maintain the hours of operation information for our CRM customer profile. To do so, go to the CRM grid, click on a CRM record to open up the CRM profile. In this case, we will choose GM Desert Proving Grounds in Mesa, Arizona. You will see an area on the right side of the profile called Hours of Operation. Click on the No Hours of Operation Defined to open up the Edit Operation. For ease of use, we have provided some standard presets in the dropdown. For example, 724 means the entity is available 7 days a week, 24 hours a day. 524 means 5 days a week, 24 hours a day, etc. In the case of a shipper or transportation company, they are more likely to be open 724 or 524, whereas a user or customer contact would normally work a standard work week. In our example, let's say this location is open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday, so we select that option. When we click Save, the system will save the data for the entity, in this case, the customer. The information is stored and displayed in the local time of the entity. Their local time is displayed at the top right of the Hours of Operations screen. Let's assume this company has special hours on Tuesday, where they work 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., take two hours off, then have a special evening shift from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. We would first change the Tuesday to end at 3 p.m. Then we would go back into the record and add a second record for Tuesday for 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. As you can see, the process of establishing and maintaining hours of operation is fairly straightforward and very flexible. So how does the system use this information? Let's take a look at your customers. We already demonstrated how to store this information, but here are a few examples of how it is used. In an order, when a customer record is displayed, hovering over the customer name will display key information data, including the hours of operation. When creating an order stop, the system will show any hours of operation data for that particular customer location. Hours of operation data is stored in their local time zone. When you enter the arrival time for the stop, the system will compare the scheduled date time with the customer's hours of operation. If it falls outside the documented hours of operation, the user will be warned. This feature could significantly reduce service failures. You can store hours of operation for many different entities besides your customers. This includes your customer contacts. This would help you know when these people can be contacted about shipments. Your business. In your system setup, you can set the hours of operation for all your business units, alternate locations, and agencies. The results are shown in your corporate profile. This helps your network partners know your hours of operation. Your employees. The users of the system. This becomes more important when these employees are identified as key contacts to other network members. Their hours of operation can show up in your company profile to make it easier for your trusted partners to call the right person in your organization. For example, if someone needs to call your office during the overnight time frame, who is the key contact and what hours are they available? For more information on setting up your company profile, see the appropriate documentation. Your partner carriers. Just like dealing with your customers, you broker freight to partner carriers that may not be inside the TMS network. You can store their hours of operation that can help when brokering freight to them. Your partner carrier contacts. 
Just like you have contacts for your customers, you can have contacts for your partner carriers. You can record their hours of operation to make it easier to contact the right person at your partner carrier. Your drivers. Your drivers may be on a set work schedule, so you can record hours of operations for a driver. Your driver contacts. You might store other contacts for your drivers, like emergency contacts, spouses, passengers, etc. And you can also store the hours they will be available for contact. Your fleet owners and contacts. You may have people who provide one or more trucks, but do not drive. You can store their hours of operation. Your custom brokers. If you do international freight, you might need to work with customs brokers. You can store their hours of operation. Your customs brokers contacts. If you store your customs broker contacts, you can also store the hours they work. Do you have to store hours of operation? No, but the more valid information you store in the system, the better the system can perform. And when it comes to your customers, storing hours of operation could prevent service failures or disgruntled drivers who arrive at a location only to find it's closed for the weekend. In summary, the hours of operation is a simple, powerful, and valuable function within the TMS system. Wise companies will use it to their advantage.